Good evening. My name's Eric Erickson. I'm with Screaming Beagle SEO. Now, I am doing a quick video to help the poor schmuck that comes behind me. And you're probably already sitting out there trying to figure this out, but you can't find a decent answer. Unfortunately, Google changes their stuff very frequently and very seldom keeps up with it in documentation, leading to a complete hair ripping experience so many times when you go to use their interfaces. So I'd like to take a moment to thank you so much, Google, for your deep insights into usability. Not. So here's my business. Um, this is Screaming Beagle. And we'll just take a little quick pop over here. This is what the back end normally looks like. You could feasibly get in here and maybe modify some photos. Um, never really tried to do it back through here. But it would seem as though everything else is graphically friendly that you should be able to do it some graphically friendly way. So let's hop over here and let's take a look at our Google My Business page. So here's our information and hopefully you've gotten everything absolutely perfect over here. You'd now think that, well, golly by golly, you should be able to hop into Manage Photos perhaps and Manage Photos. Well, unfortunately, my friends, you would actually be mistaken. So what I would normally think to do would be to let's go up here. Here's, here's an old picture that I've got. Um, we're, we're on our second branding run. Um, the first branding didn't quite do it. So let's get rid of that picture. Hmm. Well, that takes us over to the Google Plus page. Now, these things used to be separated. Yeah, this is, I don't know how many iterations of the Google Local stuff, and they keep changing their direction. Unfortunately, they don't roll it out with a whole lot of, hey, we've changed it, here's what you need to do, or keep it, try and make it sort of flow simply. Um, it seems to be just a completely, oh my God, what did they do? Kind of experience every time they change it. And that's just Google's way, I guess. Got to keep you on your toes. So, let's um, find the image that we want to get rid of. Here's our girl right here. I would think if I want to get rid of this picture, I'd click there. And I would be so darn wrong. I would find myself right here thinking, ah, okay, well, the only thing I can do is report abuse. I'm not sure why I would report abuse on my own picture. But if Google seems to think I might need that opportunity, well, by golly, who am I to question? But it's obvious, no matter where you click, you're not going to be able to do anything that you would expect to do. And you can drive yourself absolutely crazy clicking through there. So let's just get out of there and realize that we need to find something else to do. Let's find something else to click. I looked all around here, and we've clicked on all sorts of cool things. Been up through here and thought, well, maybe it was up there. Well, the whole big thing is you need to go to the album. So let's go to the business photos album. And apparently that is our paradigm. We have to open up the correct album before we can delete the correct picture. Now we get basically the same interface. Can I still report abuse? Well, what the heck? I very probably am going to want that capability to report abuse on my own picture. I don't know why it's not there, but it's not. But you know what? Oop. Now I can go back and I can delete that image. Move it. Move it. Boom. That's it. We are done. That is how you delete it. Go to your G plus page and go to the album, then find the picture, then delete it. So intuitive. Thank you from the sadistic people over at Google.